tell me where is salvation, my good friend? If I can't tell you how I feel, for I would have you as my missus. I honestly didn't really know anyone growing up in the Netherlands that was gay. Or well, I, I didn't understand the whole concept of gay myself until perhaps I was in my in my teens and uh, other than that I had never really heard heard the term and it was rarely spoken about you just don't see it in, in any media. I was fortunate enough to have a very good, good friend who was gay um, who I worked with and she was um, a massive support for me. And when something feels so good why wouldn't you want more? I had stopped seeking the source of happiness in myself and was addicted to sex. Learning about Buddhism and practicing meditation changed this as I discovered in my physical sense to feel content in my own energy. But this grew so strong that it led to my desire of wanting to pursue Buddhism more intensely and I craved celibacy now instead of sex. Stands before. Uh, well, music's always played a very big part in my life, so um, I, I've always had a strong connection uh, with my religious upbringing uh, with music. I experienced different music as soon as I um, left my church and came out of the closet, and um, it's been very interesting for me. Music's really good at bringing out taboo subjects. Um, <laughs> people are more willing to listen to um, artists and musicians, I think, than yeah. they are to um, political figures. My life's journey in a nutshell, a continuous sort of unfolding uh, that's been rooted in, in trauma and uh, violence and rejection, abandonment. Uh, well, there isn't a very strong bisexual, identified bisexual community as such, so I get a lot of support from the GLBT community, and it's still releasing and very free just, just to be out. My art used to be a therapy, used to be a cathartic process. I involved in unravelling the, uh, the confusions and the issues to do with sexuality. Um, my art expressed that. Autism is described as a spectrum disorder, so that people on the autism spectrum have a range of um, different cognitive styles, different communication styles, and different ways of socialising. When you, when you go into an area of, of what's considered to be disability, people don't tend to want to look at disability and then look at sexuality. They don't occur to people at the same time. But what we do know from research is that there is actually a higher expressed rate of homosexuality. People are less constrained by social norms and they're often more likely to, if they are homosexual, express that. And I'm pretty passionate about uh, exploring some of the areas of the world that are yet untouched in terms of conversations, conversations like we're having tonight. And I think it's important that people get to access those conversations and that we get to change the world through conversation. Many paths travelled. To the now. I guess I wrote it about four or five years ago and looking back on it now I really I really like it because I feel like I very purely captured what I was feeling. I feel like it kind of cut right to the heart of the matter. I guess it was me being kind of brutally honest about myself and 
to me that's a really important element of songwriting. Um, perhaps facing some ugly truths about yourself and being kind of brave enough to put them out there and maybe other people will be able to relate. You know, there's guys kind of coming out all the time and at various different places along that journey. Um, some young people need more help than others um, and have, you know, different um, sort of support mechanisms and coping mechanisms. You were a reef in narrow straits And it seems I'm a sailor She don't care what they have to say about her It was interesting for me because I'd never really um, gotten involved in the emotions that were behind it I just kind of didn't take it for granted but all these people that I knew that are gay are all very confident about it, so I just I didn't really think about it. So I guess that opened my eyes a lot. Yeah, I knew my whole life I was gay. I knew as far as kindy, I like throw sand at the girls to get their attention, like in the sand pit. Like I grew up my whole life in a very strict Mormon upbringing. My parents still go to church. So um, yeah, I was brought up being told my whole life that it's wrong, it's evil, and so I was so scared of not being accepted. None of them knew anyone who was gay or lesbian, so when they don't know anything about it, they automatically fear it, or they think it's like this mystery that's evil. But now that they know their own daughter has been their whole life, they realise, okay, they're just human too. And there's no song which was about being in love and taking a risk about being in love and to be quite honest I was like bar humbug that love shit oh my god now it's interesting in the process of writing these words and rehearsing with Tracy in writing these words and making it happen there I've been able to step into it and now I feel like I have to say this stuff so it's been an amazing process of growth and discovery for me you have to accept yourself before people accept you. But there's a process to do that in the first place anyway. Um, and life is evolving. There's changes and chances and opportunities. And the songs kind of take the opportunities, take those chances. Otherwise, you're not going to evolve. You're not going to change. You're not going to grow. And um, that would be such a sad thing, don't you think? I'm going to tell you now about the four about a challenge in love. Really? Thinking back to all of her dreams as a kid. When it came to writing the piece, it was really hard because I, I had, you know, four verses and a chorus to capture this woman's amazing choices and her courage. And I, I felt a bit flabbergasted because, you know, the vocab only goes so far. Oh yes, they wanted me to become a lawyer. I didn't actually ever rock up, I just sat in the courtyard drinking coffee. <laughs> so I, I felt like I was hiding a big secret so I can relate to this whole kind of yeah. thing in a way because <laughs> <laughs> my hex step was piling ever higher and I was getting further detached from my true path. So it was, it was hard. Last time I was still living at home with my family, um, heterosexual family, you know, heterosexual relationship, but we were just sharing the house with our three kids. He was shocked when I actually said it aloud, but he wasn't surprised. I've got um, straight friends, or seemingly straight friends, who now spill the stories all the time to me, like bisexual stories, or longings, or all sorts of things, different things they've done in the past. Um, stories are everywhere, and so I've written quite a few of them into songs. Finally, you learned how to fly.